back and and we are ready to um lose a lot don't look at that win streak that's that's youtube's win streak you're not allowed to see that jacob doesn't touch it we basically any kind of ending that we could get to as jacob and esau who i'm just gonna call jake from now on because it seems like i mean like i get that they're not named jacob and jacob but it kind of maybe they could be like jay and k jake you know what i mean no? Alright. Weak start to the bits this week, but it's alright because I'm the master of diagonal walking. Um, check this out, dude. Poll in chat. Can we touch this without getting hit? <laughs> Magnificent. On YouTube, I wouldn't have tried it. I don't think I would have tried it. But with an audience, you know, it, it leads to some riskier behavior sometimes. And every now and then it works out, you know? I can't believe it. <laughs> heading down to the next level here. Heading down to the item room. Um, scapular. I One of these days, like it's been in the game for a decade, I still don't really know what it does, but we'll figure it out. You know, you, you don't need to know that that's a mimic, by the way. Yeah, you don't need to know the caliber of the item. You just need to know the sound it makes when it takes a man's life. I am excited for today's show, by the way. Um, I thought about no lifing repentance. I, because, like, here's the, here's the deal. I only know the, the opening part of this week, okay? Well, that's not true. I know some of it. So I thought about no lifing repentance. Because I'm like, oh, tomorrow we're going to do Repentance plus uh, a little bit of Rainbow Six with the lads. So today I could get away with playing five hours of Repentance. Knowing that we'd introduce some variety tomorrow. But then I thought to myself, self, what, what would old you think of the fact that they released a new Tetris 99 style game? And you're not gonna, like, check it out, right? Around the time of its release? Like, it's that's sacrilegious. So we're gonna, we're gonna play some Pac-Man 99. I don't know if we're gonna play an hour, 90 minutes, two hours, but we're, we're gonna play some Pac-Man 99. I have played probably 45 minutes off camera and have not won. So you have not really missed uh, much of anything at all, I'd say. Check the shop. Always check the shop. There's some other games on my list as well. Don't get me wrong. But for now... I mean, like, Friday, I don't know if I even told people. Um, let, let's try it, man. Let's freaking try it. I don't know if I even told people, but on Friday, we're doing uh, a pummel party, Twitch Rivals. <laughs> I don't know... 100% of the cast. All I'm saying is I know Chib's gonna be there, and I also told Chib to ask Lil Nas X in the DMs if he would be interested in joining us. Now, do I think that the odds of that coming to pass are, are high? No, but it would be hilarious. There's no doubt about that, that it would be funny. Funny? Dude, that's a combination of pretty good items there. I'm not upset. Yeah, so I know, like... Me, Chib, Mouth, Justin, and Jay. And Pause. How many people is that? That's six people, right? It's an elite squad. <laughs> oh, it, the only thing we need to round it out is Lil Nas X. If we could just get Lil Nas X to join us, I think it would be the it would be the perfect the perfect vibe. I really think that that he would fit in nicely with that group. A stacked squad. Mm, could you guys get closer together, please? Thank you. You shouldn't be able to make this many flies. There's too many flies. It's too many damn pages for any sane man to understand.
really. I don't know why, like, I'm looking at this like I'm indignant. Come on, booster pack? Three, never mind, six cards for killing a boss? Disrespectful. Insubordinate. You know where I'm going with this. No! Okay, I, it's actually... I have... I, there was no reason to get mad. Um, because Telepills was actually not that bad, but I don't know. It just threw me for a loop. I don't have... I don't have an explanation. Emotionally, I, I felt a little shattered there. Okay, let's see what we got. The tower? Here's what you do with that. Thomp it. Oh, he got the tower? Dump it. Maybe we can at least get some access there. Um, and then, two of spades, okay? It's not bad. Two of spades, it's not bad. The empress, who cares? Justice, we use? Justice. Justice. Mm. What if the... Killer from the new Saw movie is uh, Jim Parsons, who played Sheldon on The Big Bang Theory. You ever think about this sort of stuff? Hmm, perhaps a little bit more H2SO4 will buy your Zynga, Captain. Just, just thoughts that have been percolating in my head lately. Because they are, they made that new Saw movie, right? It, it comes, I saw the trailer. Can I hit you with the take that you're going to, like, this is like a Dan take, but I kind of believe it. This is, and it, I, I would like to be clear, it's from post-2004 only, okay? So, like, longer than most of the people in chat have been alive, but still. Not from the 90s, and also not from the movie... Uh, Changing Lanes, the 2003 film Changing Lanes, Samuel L. Jackson uh, and Ben Affleck. Great movie. Fantastic movie. However, if, and this is not is a hard and fast rule, but you don't have to live by it. If I see Samuel L. Jackson in the trailer for a movie and there's no superheroes in it, the odds of that movie in my head of being good go down to near zero. There is a couple of exceptions. And I got nothing against Samuel L. Jackson. I, there's a couple of exceptions. The Other Guys is one of the best comedies of the 2010s. No question. Um, that's true. If, if Samuel L. Jackson plus Tarantino also equals... Uh, it, it, it nullifies the law. Jackson's law. You've redeemed this opinion with that addendum. Thank you, Bear. I appreciate. I, I put thought into this, and I'm open to the idea of, you know, adjusting the theory over time. Kingsman. He's not in Kingsman, is he? I, it's such a weird time for that reference because I referenced the Kingsman 2, the Golden Circle today. In the context of explaining how someone might uh, make themselves familiar with Elton John. Oh, in the first movie he's the villain! Yeah, and you know what? He does a really good job. He, they, he's good in that movie. There's no question there. Um, bro, I don't know, man. Like... So what happens if you take Dark Judas? Hello, Bear Taffy, by the way. What, what happens if you take Dark Judas and then... C could you have Jacob and Dark Judas and then still get the Jacob and Esau stuff? Probably not. I don't think so. So I think I'm going to ignore everything and try to cultivate some deals with the angel instead. I, my, my other bit from today was I posited that Nobody knows the lyrics to Benny and the Jets, even uh, Elton. So every time he sings the song live, he just sings whatever's like on his mind. He's like, he's got a moldy shoe, a handbag too. You know, we read it in the quarterly. Oh, <laughs> boo, 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 Benny and the Jets. Okay, hold on. This, I mean, this is amazing. Please don't sing. 
You should look at the new chat rules. I honestly, I could get you incarcerated for that take. And I wouldn't hesitate to do so. Uh, my brain is broken. I was like, how does one do this? Hold on, we don't even want to do it this way. Just give it, just give it a sec. Just give it a sec, okay? Here's how it looks. You sidle up to it like this. This would be a great time to have a key, dude. <laughs> this would be a wonderful time to have a key. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. And it was worth it. It was well worth it. Two very good items. Donkey donk. Anyway, that's, that's my thoughts on all things random so far. Hey, NL, can you speak up? I can't hear you over my air fryer. All right, you know what? Um, that is something I have neglected hitherto to touch upon when it comes to the air fryer. It is loud. It is a loud appliance. I like it. In fact, I might even say I love it. But it, it do be loud. I, I'm going to go back for Dirty Mind, by the way. I forgot that it's actually uh, pick upable. I still want to pick up Dirty Mind, oh yeah, you know? You know what I'm talking about, Steely Dan? I'd sure like to pick up Dirty Mind, oh yeah. Opinion on... Right, just hold on. Opinion on Rocket Man, the movie or the song? I have not seen the movie. Um, the song, I think, is good. You're gonna. Uh, this is a great item, by the way. I'm very happy to see this. I do think it's a little indulgent. It's a little long. I think that's one of those songs where if you didn't have radio constraints, they could have just made it like first verse, chorus, chorus, and then ended, and it would have been fine. I, I do think it's still a good song, though. Okay, so I'm gonna... I am gonna try to do Alt Path. You never know how it's gonna work out, but... Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try. <laughs> so yeah, the, the item we got, I can't remember what it's called. It's like Buffet or something. Um, essentially... Every item pedestal will, over time, alternate with an HP upgrade. Saved. So, any item pedestal, you have a choice between the item pedestal... What's on it, I should say. And an HP upgrade. Which is actually really, really nice... Um, for ensuring that you have enough HP to survive. Like, this is a really good example, I think of a situation where you would look at this and be like, you know, one of the main reasons I die in repentance is not having... I literally just bought Ventricular Razor instead. Um, I am going to turn into the Joker. If you don't mind, if you'll excuse me, I am going to become the Joker. Um, I mean, like, the thing is... Ventricular Razor is, like, actually pretty sick. But the odds of me using it when I already have to, like, split my brain into eighths just to understand what's happening is, like, it's pretty low. It's not bad. Because you can get inside of... I mean, this is not amazing, I guess. But you can get inside of rooms and then get out of the room. Uh, we want Jacob to take it. Jacob touches it. Uh, like, you can get inside of a mob trap room or a boss trap room, steal the item, and then leave. Do you like Aphex Twin? Uh, I do. For, for a year, like the year that I lived in South Korea, I would fall asleep, uh, whenever I had insomnia to Selected Ambient Works Volume 2. It's just, it's got the, ex the the right kind of vibe to just send you off to dreamland. Uh, and then, you know, I, I like some of the... 
some of the Aphex Twin stuff that's not ambient as well. I wish the milkman would deliver my milk in the morning. Okay, you, you no, no, no. Look, I know we got experimental treatment and we could possibly work towards spun. We will not be doing that. I was thinking about that the other day, man. Like, I've been getting into, like, uh, Brian Eno's ambient works. Because I, I really do think, like, like Music for Airports is a, maybe my favorite ambient album of all time. Um, but I forgot, like, Brian Eno's just, like, a really good, like, rock star slash pop star as well. Like, here come the Warm Jets and, uh, what's this? I forget the, the, the first album. Do we never talk shop about this? You're blowing my mind. Brian Eno's the business? Dude, I'm all about that kind of stuff. You know me. Same old G. There's, there's Here Come the Warm Jets, and then there's... Uh, what's, what's the other one I'm trying to think of? You know what I'm talking about. He's got, Another green world, that's what it's... I'll find a place out there in the valley. I'm gonna sleep for the rest of my days. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. We're going down, right? Someday, my dear, your love is gonna pull me through that garden gate. You know, but dude, that came up on like YouTube Music Shuffle the other day. I hadn't heard that song since probably like my first year of university. And I was like, dude, this is, I forgot how pog this was. Anyway, that's all I got. <laughs> that's, that's my thoughts on music. Pretty much got it figured out. No, it's not all my thoughts on music. Because Malf reminded me yesterday of, of Froggy Fresh, also known as Krispy Kreme. And then I linked him, because I've maintained that his Halloween song has no reason to go as hard as it does. I linked him to Halloween 1. Um... And I was like, this goes hard. And then I listened to it and I was like, no, this is not the right song. And then I linked him to Halloween 2. Because that's the one I was originally thinking of. That freaking... It's so grimy, dude. Like, who gave Krispy Kreme permission to, to get that dirty, you know? I am going home without my candy and my homie. It's crazy, man. I saw him in concert, it was sick. Wonder if I could book him to sing a song when I get vaccinated. About getting vaccinated. In five months. Hey, yeah, I mean like I yeah, hey, shut up. You're right though. Um no, probably like probably two months, two months and a half maybe is my guess. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop it. I'm not afraid. We want Jacob to not grab this. Emperor card. Okay, now this is Pog. We're good. We're good. Best thing about this run right now is that we have a, a copious supply. There's no more bombs coming, huh? Oh, they, they spawn from the, the minecarts. We have a copious supply of, of demon hearts and spirit hearts. It's making life much easier. Little, little tight up through the corner here. Beautiful throw. Could have been better. Could have been better. I mean, we have bombs. There's no reason to get so finicky with it. And that's exactly why... We got it. Okay, you're toasted. Oh, come on. You're toasted. Don't take my... This is exactly what we want. Okay. Angel deal. The relic has been nerfed, but it's still much better. I bet if we beat up the angel statue, though... Okay, hold on. This could actually go, man. It's not quite that impressive yet, but just give it a minute. Majestic. Because we, we definitely need this. Because I bet, I bet we'll get a key piece or an HP upgrade. And that, I would definitely take the opportunity to get another HP upgrade. So I don't care who gets the relic. 
I do know. I'll come running to tie your shoe. I'll come running to tie your shoe. Okay. Uh, that's, you know... Look, all things considered, it's not that bad, but the relic definitely would have been better. You won't, you won't find me trying to run too much defense on that one. Hey, War God Devil 2. Thanks for the gift of subscriptions. This is uh, over and above the Call of Duty in terms of generosity. Thank you. Much appreciated. Th this runs for you. I, I knew we were gonna get hit. Just the, the spiky rocks, there was there was a limited chance of getting out of there for me. You know why you're right. I, I I've forgotten about shooting all the poos to get poo pals. Now this this is Seraphim is worth it, particularly because we know we're going to get HP. We're gonna get so much HP that items that are that's also really good with Infamy. But items that are as good as this need to be taken. I also, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, with with all sincerity on planet Earth, rotten hearts are like some of the most valuable items you can actually get. Let me out. <laughs> oh, God. Being able to get all these flies is, is extremely helpful. That's, you're, you're chilling. We're just chilling, man. I'm like mo and I'm so gelling. That is true. I have to remember they're only half a heart, but, you know, every juice has its squeeze. Brett Michaels. Okay, blue candle or HP. <laughs> I think we definitely want to do... Uh, blue candle and I have absolutely no problem picking this up on the unit that has like ventricular razor And I don't even want to keep ventricular razor. I know that there's here's the thing. Is it the right idea? Yeah, probably but the flip side is I think you have to reduce your decision load and I think for many people in chat as well you might want to reduce your load decision just throwing that out there. But it, we're, we're, we're just trying to make the run as, as smooth as possible. The less decisions we have to make, the less ambient brain power is wasted on things that are relatively minor, the more we can focus on that which actually matters. Friends and family, etc., etc. Selected ambient brain power, volume two. Dude, that'd be a great bit. What if you just went live and you're like, yo, my favorite Aphex twin song is the one, is, is this one. You ready? That's a good... It's called Distant Lighthouse. It echoes the sound of uh, a lighthouse over a, a foggy bay. It took 14 years to make. And for some reason, it, I, I, it moves me to tears every time I hear it. <laughs> okay, this is one... I, in my opinion, we just want HP. <laughs> the double? Oh, that makes sense. If you get one HP, it would be two HP. No, I haven't seen the lighthouse yet. I know I I know I should. Instead, I watched uh, six episodes of season eight of The Simpsons on on Saturday. And honestly, like I forgot. I've I've you know lost so much favor for that show. I forgot that it's actually like one of the best shows ever made. I, w I became ashamed of my words and my deeds over the course of uh, over the course of watching it. Like the episode, I mean, that it, and I didn't pick these episodes on purpose, but it was the uh, 
is the season that has the one where Millhouse's parents get uh, divorced. It's dignity, Luan. I'll, you want me to talk? I'll, you want me to tell a story? I'll tell a story about a guy who inherited his dad's cracker factory then turned it from the number one cracker factory in Springfield into a tie for sixth place below Allied Biscuits. I want more HP, man. That's the, that's the dream here. Oh, yeah, when he gets fired from the cracker factory? <laughs> so that's it? After 20 years, all I get is goodbye and good luck? Well, I don't recall saying good luck. It's a good, this is a great show. Or, uh, it also has, I, I don't know why this made me laugh so hard, but like when Lisa falls in love with Nelson Muntz, and then she goes to his house and there's the Nuke the Whales poster, and then she's like, surely you don't believe that. And he's like, ah, you gotta nuke something. And then he sings the song that's like, Joy to the world, the teacher's dead. We barbecued her head. What happened to her body? We flushed it down the potty and round and round it goes. I'm like, man, this is... I think I, I was trying, I was talking about it a little in the Isaac episode today, but I was trying to explain like, I think it, it, it hits you more as you get older. Because you realize, like, it's not the kid's fault, you know? <laughs> that makes sense. Because <laughs> I'm like, you know, when you're a kid, you're like, ah, that's funny. He's, like, saying bad words. As an adult, you're like, oh, man, it's funny because, like, his parents are negligent. And if you if you don't laugh, you'd, you'd cry. Some good episode. There was also the one where, like, um, the Simpsons, uh, or the Springfield get hit, gets hit by a hurricane, and only Ned Flanders' house gets destroyed, so he undergoes, like, a severe crisis of faith. This is a, with, with the classic quote, um, you know, we tried nothing and we're all out of ideas. Safe? Confirmed safe. Did you see the, the gi uh, not the gif, but the video that that uh, Edmund retweeted of like, this is me running away from mom when I get the second knife piece. And it, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's from a piece of adult entertainment, but with like some photoshopping done on it. Oh my God, no, ah, no, it's, it's so good. Oh man, yeah, when their house uh, is destroyed and they're like, oh, don't worry, I'm sure insurance will cover it. And they're like, oh, Nettie doesn't believe in insurance. He considers it a form of gambling. Simpsons movie? I, I saw it in theaters and have not seen it since, but I do recall it being way better than I could have expected, given that the Simpsons were already in like a heavy decline uh, and had been for like a decade at that point. I knew that was coming. Thank God we got so much HP, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry that apparently this is just gonna be like Simpsons quotes, but uh, when he's like, he's living. Kirk uh, Van Houten is living in the Singles Living uh, Center, and he opens the door, and they're like, "That's Jerry." He's a big player down at the sewing store. Okay, I think I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to leave. And I just realized, like, every... Uh, every Simpsons episode that season is actually a classic. Like, there were a couple episodes I thought maybe I just got, like, two in a row that were really good. And then uh, it was like, oh, now it's the one where like Bart goes to work at the burlesque house. And I was like, this one's a classic too. And then it's the one where like Marge opens a, a, a pretzel wagon and like... Yeah, we're going down the alt path, man. 
then Homer like gets her in with the mob so that her business doesn't fail. And I'm like, this is a great one too. It's all, they're all classic. Okay, the mausoleum, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Actually the hardest floor in this game. Harder than the corpse. This this floor is a is is a disaster for me. We got bombs. Melee enemies are are insanely annoying, no doubt about that. This one might be a run where we have to just pivot off of this. We'll see what our HP looks like after this floor. But uh <laughs> If we do I'm stupid. If we do, I will leave a trinket behind. Wait, we don't have a trinket. I don't know what I'm gonna do then. Yeah, I'm like, honestly, like it, it completely justifies the purchase price, um, get me out, of, uh, of Disney Plus for me right now. I know people are gonna be like, oh, he's cropped wrong or whatever. You know, so you, you so, so be it, you know. You can buy the Blu-rays if you want. Don't let me stop you. Press pause and check the to the posted note. I'm here to tell you, um, I need just about everything as this character, so. For the time being, there's no need. How do you feel about steamed hams? I mean, the, it, the, the episode that steamed hams comes from is one of my favorite episodes. Even before Steamed Hams was a, was a heavy meme, like 17 short films about Springfield or whatever it's called, that's like, it was the patrician's choice for, for top episode. Okay, charges we don't care about. What we do care about, living. HP, please. Thank you. What about man gets hit by football? It's, I mean... Like, maybe it's a controversial take. Maybe this is the point of the episode to begin with. I haven't seen it, you know, since I was, like, 11. Um, man gets hit in groin by football is better than Barney's needlessly um, pretentious... Drivel. Man gets hit by football deserved to win at the film festival. And I'm glad it did. Interesting. Delightful. <laughs> Magnificent. Of course I'm gonna do it. Don't reroll my knife. I'll be extremely furious. Um, you can now take HP to stay alive, and I was told there was a tinted rock, and you're absolutely right, there is. And round and round it goes, and round and round it goes. Yeah, it only rerolled one character. And honestly, the reroll seems kind of doo doo, but you know, the fact that you get infinite rerolls, or as many as you can muster at least, it, uh, it changes the game. It changes the game in a big way. Dee Dee, Mega Doo Doo. I don't know if you take the knife pieces as uh, the wrong character, like if you take one as Jacob and one as Esau, my hunch is, based on Isaac's design in the past, that it, it'll screw you. That's my take on it. Um, they, they combine, even if you take them as, that's amazing. Incredible. I like it. Hey, Anel, how was your day off? Bro, it was jam-packed, all right? So get this. I don't know if you're ready for this kind of, like, 
the lifestyle I lead, a lot of people would, they, they honestly, they'd be begging to go to the cottage, like, by hour two. Because they can't handle this. So get this, all right? I had to go to the post office yesterday. I woke up at 6.45 a.m. just because that's what it's like. Um, I had to go to the post office yesterday, right? Figured the post office opened around 9. Went by the post office, saw that it didn't open until noon. What's up with that, dude? So I came back at 11.40, and I was standing in line for the post office because I wanted to be first because, you know, you, know, you want to beat the rush. And then while I was standing in line, the manager of the store came by and posted over the hours of the post office. He posted uh, open today, two to five. And I said, what happened? And he said, oh, we had someone call in sick. And I said, oh, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a good precaution to take, but like I'm all, this is my second time at the post office already. And now I gotta like, uh, I gotta come back at two. Anyway, so I came back at around 3.40, and I, like, mailed that stuff. But that's not all, man. Like, that's the end of the post office portion, but that's not the end of my my action movie day. Um, like, I gotta tell you, we took the baby out for a walk. Get this. You ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> it was like really windy, so we came back inside because it was honestly so cold that we were worried the baby would be like a little uncomfortable. So it was like a pretty busy day. I forgot this is also the D, uh, the D10. Man, this is a terrible run. So it was like we got up to some stuff, man. So the D10 rerolls empty rooms now, huh? Um, okay, here I'm. I, I got some interest here, because Jacob has become the lost. But I, I think it kind of sucks, actually. I think it's not good. Then again, we can't do anything about it, so let's just live with it. Well, that's what I dead dove. When I said he became the lost, that's what I meant. Is not that he became the lost. Duh. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't read between the lines on that one. Alright, time to suffer through this undodgeable wave of attacks. And hit you with uh, an infinite number of bombs and... Still live, still live. Okay. We don't get HP as an option anymore, that's fine. We're really just trying to get a single charge. Okay. <clears throat> Donkey, donkey, donkey. What the heck are you? Just keep moving. As long as you keep moving, you can't be hurt. Yeah, one of these days, if we keep rolling, I got a lot of faith. I'm not concerned. So anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good. We got the mind. This doesn't seem too bad. HP is a little low, but it doesn't seem too bad. Can of corn, baby, can of corn. Uh, you know, we're probably going to reroll you, so let's take the HP on the unit that has some level of object permanence. Yo, we got Godhead and, like, either Explosivo or, or Mucor Mycosis or whatever the heck this item's called. Okay, dude, you can... Look at that. Look at that. Greatest send of my life. Not to mention we got spilled milk. It's incredible. <laughs> um, I forgot what I was talking about. That, that was my whole day, basically. Do you like Chapman's Cinderella? What is that, like an ice cream flavor? Chapman's? Chapman's Cinderella. I have no idea what that is. It's a cologne? I don't know. I, I I don't have an answer. I and I have I have stalled out completely. I got nothing for you. I, I don't know what you want from me. 
The lions? Like, from the circus? And they were playing a game. I'm just trying to understand here. It's a song? Bro, I don't know anything about songs. My favorite recording artist of the last 10 years? Um, Pete Davidson. That, that should tell you everything you need to know. Pete Weber. Oh, now we're talking. Okay, always use this on empty rooms. I'm learning. Did I just reroll Godhead? Yeah, I just rerolled Godhead. You know why? Because we have something even better than Godhead. The brimstone that ruins your game completely. It's actually really good. It's actually unbelievable. Don't shoot me with the beam. Okay, and we got an angel room as well. Hold on. This, this run could actually do it. You definitely want both. I don't think we reroll, man. I think we just try to get some degree of survivability on our other character. Also known as Jacob, also known as the main character. We don't care for a key piece. Okay, that hurts. This run has got a chance though. Being a... Oh, we should have gotten second secret room, but... Uh, oh, every time, man. Just being able to swap the items would be enough. And also, I'm gonna need a new keyboard after this. But you know what? It is what it is. Good tanking. Thank you, Esau. Good tanking. Thank you. Did, I, did you see my anecdote, by the way, on... Uh... That's not how I meant to do that. <laughs> You see my anecdote on Twitter? I got some coffee, and the um, the barista said, here's your coffee, and I said, thanks, you. Very painful. It was very painful for me. Freaking idiot. Moron. You donkey! That's not how it's said. What if we just rerolled this run again, though? Time to find a new coffee shop. What did she say? Oh, she, I mean, she probably forgot about it like 10 seconds after it happened, but... But it, that's not the important part. The important part is it's going to stick with me for life. You know, the old M. Bison strategy. We'll see. Maybe next time I go in, they'll be like, Hey, you know last time you were here, you said thanks you instead of thank you? Like, what was up with that? And I'll be like, oh, that was my twin brother. Who doesn't know English. A common misconception. Look at this. Yeah, they got me up on the wall. <laughs> like, I'm not allowed to go back into the store. What the heck? I actively avoid a shop because of a dumb thing I did several years ago. I think it depends what the dumb thing is. Like, I would never... not show up to a coffee shop because I said thanks you. That's a little too far. Um, I'm trying to think of even... What would it take? I don't know. It would take a lot. I knocked over a GameStop display once. I... Oh, no. Um, just roll it, man. You got it. You need the HP. It didn't work. Good night. Control space. Health up. Name a woman. It's still really good. We just need to survive. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. There's a button and everything. <laughs> it's... 
I, I, I could.